mob crime has largely died down, but it could easily resurface should the building that the project's backers are hoping to create rise up in Lower Manhattan. In the meantime, Park 51 is moving ahead with some less ambitious plans. Later this month, it will host its first program. It's a photography exhibit featuring children from around the world who all call New York City home. In Lower Manhattan, Grace Rao, New York One. Remember, you can go to nyone.com slash 9-11 to check out all the stories you've seen on New York One. This is, and it's not just Wall Street firms. We've seen a real growth in nonprofits, in professional services, in the creative services. Uh, I think media is a huge growth industry. And case in point is publisher Condé Nast, which a few months ago signed on as anchor tenant in One World Trade Center when it opens in 2013. Once the entire site is rebuilt, Lower Manhattan will once again be the third largest central business district in the country. At the World Trade Center site, I'm Bobby Kuzak. Lewis, back to you. Thanks, Bobby. Did you see increased security around town today? It's a nice topic on the call. If you want to know what intelligence officials learn of a credible but unconfirmed threat? Email the call at ny1.com with your questions along with your first name and neighborhood or tweet your comments. Remember to call in at 9 p.m. with your thoughts at 866-NY1-TALK. Many families who settled in downtown Manhattan over the past decade say they came for the excellent public schools. But some of those residents say they are going up fast enough. Our education reporter, Lindsay Chris. If you move downtown, you may not even know where your child will be able to go to school. Because all the schools will be full. That's because downtown has attracted families, and those families are having kids. Lots of them. The number of births has gone from 389 in 2002 to 970 in 2009. A dramatic and steady growth that's taxed the neighborhood schools. It made headlines in January after business school professor Eric Greenleaf tried to explain the problem to then Chancellor Kathy Black. These are kids who are already born. This is the projection of what they have. Could we just have some brick and Parents say it's actually a serious problem, and the only solution is to open more schools. The city has already built two new elementary schools. One opened in Battery Park City last year, and another on Spruce Street this week. Plans are in the works for a third in the old Pexland Post Office. The Green Lake's projection suggests that still won't be enough. The green bars show the kindergarten spaces available downtown. The red bars show how many additional kindergarten seats will be needed each year, based on the number of children already born. Two of the solutions on the table? Drawing school zones or... If you ever stay at the Millennium, excuse me. You have to stay at 5007. That's the room you have to stay at. You can see everything here. Everything. There's the top of the New World Trade Building. We're working on the heavy. I don't know why they didn't build it the way it was. So sad, man. Leave the walk the World Trade Building. I even made love on top of the World Trade Building years and years ago.